It's been four months since the Biggest Loser season six finale featured two local contestants, Heba and Ed. Together, they've lost more than 275 pounds and gained years on their lives. And when the Raleigh couple isn't to the gym, their free time is spent serving the community. They look great. And our Shirley men met with the couple. And of course, we want to know how they're doing. And everybody is always curious to know, what are they up to now? Well, Sharon, they've kept up their weight loss. They've maintained that they look great and they're doing well. And I met them at Davis Drive Elementary in Cary earlier this week, where they spoke to children about the importance of making healthy food choices and being active, lessons that they learned on the ranch. Well, Heaven and Ed hope by getting out there, they can help fight childhood obesity locally. Even with the Biggest Loser finale behind them, Heb and Ed still work out a few hours every day. 20 perfect jumping jacks, go! One, two, but on this day, four, five, six. they're exercising with first and second graders at Davis Drive Elementary. We just want to tell the kids that there's a healthy balance to life, just to be active and, you know, make healthy choices. Lessons Heb and Ed had to learn the hard way. I wish that, you know, when, when I was a kid, uh, preteen years, that somebody would have um, given, given me the information I needed to uh, make the right choices. Get the other team's flag back onto your half. So when gym teacher Rob Weidenburner, better known as Coach W, asked the couple to talk to his kids about being active and eating healthy, Heb and Ed jumped at the chance. I just feel like they can really send a great message. And it's and it, a new face they'll always listen to. I mean, they're used to seeing me every week. If we can stop any child or teenager from having to go through what we did with having a weight problem, you know, we'd like to be a good example for that. But under Coach W's tutelage... Get ready! Set, go! Get it, get it, get it! The kids at Davis Drive are in good hands. Always have roots and vegetables and don't have that much oils of fat. I think that you should not eat too much of total fat because maybe you should get a little much fatter and you might get a lot of pounds. These kids are pretty serious about their health and fitness. They're all really fit. When he told them to drop and give them a push up, like nobody was playing around. And while Heba applauds the school. I don't think this is how every kid in North Carolina and all the PE classes are. I think this is exceptional. The two know there's still a lot of work to be done. By the way, Heba's team won the game. Good game. This is in check. Good game. Good lose. Good game. I'm out of here. And Heaven had said that they'd love to speak at other schools, teaching kids how to make smarter food choices, and that being active can mean something as little as taking your dog for a walk or just going outside to play instead of just playing video games. And another thing, Heaven had agreed that if Biggest Loser wasn't around in 20 years, well, Sharon, then they say that that wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah. So. Wow. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, good for them. They look really mm -hmm. good. They look happy, too. Yeah. All right, Shirley. Thank